Hey, what is going on guys? It's Connor here from MenuDoct and welcome back to a new video on the channel. Today, we're going to be creating quite an advanced help uh, command for the dis uh, Discord.js tutorials. Now, in the last episode, we made a command handler and as you can see, I've added a few things to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an embed basically that pulls the command information and it's basically just going to relay that information into an embed. So the first thing we want to do is do args zero. Now, if you see, we've actually got args right here. We've got it defined in the index file as if I can find it, it's down here as a message array dot slice one. Now, if we go back and then we'll do this again, we'll open it up and do equals help because we don't want them to be able to do help space help. Um, so what we're going to do is just return uh, message dot channel dot send bam and then we just want to do just do oh sorry hold up we'll do back ticks so we can add the prefix in there just do prefix uh help instead and this just basically means if someone does help space help it will return this message um but the next thing we want to do is we want to do if there isn't any um sorry if there is args we want to do this and we just want to do let command equal args zero bam back to, um sorry do semicolon if and then this bot dot commands dot has command we want to open up another one of these we want to do command equals bot dot commands dot get command then we also want to put number back ticks on that and then we want to create an embed so what we want to do is we want to do just for this instance we'll do um send help embed as the definition and then equals new discord dot rich embed don't forget the um brackets after then we want to do set color um for this instance oh sorry that's set color for this instance i guess we'll do um colors dot cyan just as because that's what it normally that's the one i normally use um and then we'll do set author we'll set the author as um test bot help then comma message dot not messenger message dot guild dot icon url and that should be all we need from that part and then this is the important part now everyone has to follow along in this so what we're going to do is we're going to do back ticks make sure they're back ticks you want to do the bot prefix is and then we'll just add the bot prefix so we'll do how we did it above prefix like that and then we'll add some spaces um, sorry, we'll add some, um, some just, it, it's just, it just basically means it's enter. So it's going to go to the next line and we're going to do that twice. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to add command. So this will just bring up the command and then we want to do command, um, command dot config dot name. Make sure it goes back in there. Then we want to add another line, do this description um space oh no sorry remember to add these space add command dot con config dot description then we want to go next line we want to add if i remember correctly what what goes next ah yes we also want to add usage and i haven't added it here but what we can do is we can just add uh usage and then that will equal for for this just just to show this um it'll just be that yeah basically we want to do is we want to obviously do the exact same stuff as here command dot config dot usage now I'm actually going to backtrace a little bit. So what you want to do here is add no description. This is just a 
like kind of like a um setback not really a setback what is it called i can't think of the word i just woke up it's like a uh layback a a backup for instance and basically if you don't have usage or anything in the file it will return these and that's just very helpful when it comes to these kind of things because then it doesn't um because obviously otherwise it's going to return with like literally nothing there and nobody really wants that now the next thing we want to do is we want to obviously add another one of these and we want to we want to see who it's accessible by so accessible right that's how you spell it <laughs> sorry I, I, a little bit a little bit you know tired still so we'll do command.config that's not how you spell config config dot accessible by and it will check who it's accessible by or we're going to default it to members now the next one obviously remember to add a new thing we want to add aliases we forgot to do the alias aliases bam bam okay so now this one's a little bit different we're gonna have it do check for two things so we do command dot config dot alias and obviously we have our aliases set as aliases um but we're gonna check for no aliases sorry so we're gonna check for no alias so this just basically means that because obviously if you don't have an alias in there it doesn't really matter because the array is still there but if you remove the array it creates an error so we're going to add no um thing and then command dot config dot aliases and that should what am i missing wait what's going on i'm missing something up oh, missing that and then that's that's basically it that's basically the command itself but obviously what we want to do now is um add that back basically what we want to do now is we want to check if it does it doesn't have an arg zero if it doesn't have an arg zero we want to send a different embed so for this we'll do message dot delete and we want it to send uh, for, for this instance we're going to make it send in dms so we're going to do let embed equal new discord dot rich embed and then we're just going to have it pretty simple so we're going to do set author um help com command exclamation mark um underscore message dot guild dot icon url then we want to go back here set sorry set color um i think hold up sec we'll do colors dot red light is it that i think it's that next one we'll do set description and this is where we write um message dot author dot username um check your dms bam wait no not bam so basically we've made an embed but now we're going to make another so we're going to do let s embed equal new discord dot rich rich embed then we're going to do dot set color uh i guess we're going to go back to the cyan yep cyan dot set author test bot help um message dot guild dot icon url now a lot of this is just me talking and obviously my voice gets annoying after a while but you guys are just gonna have to deal with it because it, like a lot of the coding is um it, it's it's just really just getting used to it and then once you get used to it, it it's just constantly you know um kind of like being there but uh set times uh step time stamp and then we want to set an, a description and this is just going to basically relay the exact same thing we said above so these are the avail available uh commands for the 
test bot. Um, exclamation mark. And then, obviously, bring back this old boy. The bot prefix is... Um, and then we'll add uh, prefix. Oh, we don't have prefix divine, do we? Hmm, interesting. Okay, um, we'll just add uh, do... Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. Const prefix equals um, bot config dot prefix. And that's just basically going to define prefix for us. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add a few fields. Now, obviously, um, what we're going to do here is we're just going to... I'm just going to do command... Sorry, hold up. We're just going to do commands because we don't have that many commands at the moment. Um, and then we're just going to do space again. And then we're just going to type all the commands we have in. Um, I like to put them in the backticks because I think that's quite rad. So, um, do cat. We forgot the comma. Cat, uh, dog, uh, meme, help, server info, user info. And obviously we can add to this later. Um, but then we want to add a footer set footer. Um, and then we'll just do um, test bot 2k18 uh, comma. Don't forget the comma. A lot of people do forget the comma. Um, you know, something you really need, otherwise it doesn't work. Display URL. Then what we want to do is we want to do message dot channel channel dot. Oh god, can I spell dot send? embed so that will send the embed above dot then m arrow function m dot delete and then we're going to set it after 10 seconds so that's after 10 seconds so you it, basically to tell how many seconds it is you just forget the last three of these and that's how many seconds it is because this is in milliseconds um but yep we want to do that and then we want to do message dot author dot send and then S embed. Bam. Okay, so this is basically all we're going to need. Um, just to make sure this works, I'm going to go into all these files here. And I'll add all these here. Um, basically, if it doesn't have an alias. Um, this one does have an alias, sorry. But if it doesn't, you just remove this. Just, just remove it. It's not needed. Because it plays that one instead of the actual aliases. If it doesn't have an alias, like for instance... All of them have aliases, don't they? God damn it. Okay, let's say user info didn't have an alias. We'll add this in here. And basically, when the command is called, it will say no aliases. But I'll bring you guys back after I've added all this stuff in. Okay, so now we've added all of them. Um, all these have descriptions and such. I didn't realize that meme didn't have a alias. So this is there. Um, we can go back in here, actually, and just add the UI back in. Um, but yeah, this is basically all we're gonna need. This is the the stuff that's basically gonna work for us. Okay, so hit save. Um, we'll bring up the console because that is something that we need to run the bot. Now there we go. Bam! I should probably add noob mom, but I'm extremely lazy, so it's probably not gonna happen. Okay, so now we're in here and we're going to do help and that's going to send us an embed. No? Arg isn't def- Oh, hold up. Where did I put arg? Args. Oh, that's not what I want. Args. Okay. Bam. Uh, now we got to open the console again. Should be good. Okay. Back in here. Help. Yep. So we didn't put any things in. So this is going to give us the commands. These are the commands here. Um, now we're going to go back in here and we're going to type help cat. Why didn't it give us the cat command? It's pretty straightforward. That should be, that should send. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I, <laughs> I didn't send the embed. <laughs> Message.channel.send. Uh, what's the embed name? SH embed. That could probably be helpful. 
if I send the embed itself. Jesus Christ. It's just... <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to do that. It should come up. There we go. Um, and I guess uh, just to make it look better, we're going to add a... Because if I just do help uh, dog, this is what mine looks like. It's it's so it's better. That's it's just better in every single way, shape, and form because you know I made it. Um, but we're gonna add this thing, uh, just to make it look better. So we'll add the thumbnail right here. Set thumbnail, bam, and then that should be done. And um, so you didn't get DM. Oh yeah, we didn't get DM either. Oh wait, no, we did interesting um but yeah that's basically it come on this dumbass has fucking um he's in bed's closed i mean his thing closed guess we could do if and then else error or catch error or whatever but we'll do that in a different episode anyways guys i'm gonna end the episode here thank you so much for watching this being connor here from menu docs and i'll catch you guys in the next one see ya